Well, look at what the Bible says in 2 Timothy 4, 5. Paul speaking to a pastor who's over a church. He says, keep your head in all situations and do or hardship. Do the work of an an evangelist, thank you, discharge all the duties of your ministry. So do the work of an evangelist. You may not be that in an office. An evangelist in position is going to be one that is comfortable speaking to large groups, teaching, training, going around the world or the place that they're at. That's going to be the calling of that person. We go ding, 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 evangelist, but everybody could do the work of an evangelist. Amen? Amen. Does anybody here get paid to cook food? A chef, a cook, a line cook. Um, I can't think of anything else. You sell in lotes. You, you, uh, you, you have a food truck. Okay, nobody here. We had one person in the, in the first service that did it as a living. They got paid to be a cook. But how many of y'all do the work of a cook every day? You do the work of a cook. You don't look at the food and go, that's not my calling to cook you. I need to call up somebody. I need to call up a chef. I need to get a cook in here, and then I'm just going to watch them because it's not my calling. No, you do the work of a chef. Every time you get out of bed at 10 in the morning and try to eat cookie dough and do whatever you're doing there, you try to do something there if you're, you're hunger craving, you do the work. You get up, you do the work. We are all called to do the work. Somebody say, put in work.